We just had a quick pit stop at a surf company. What is this place called? Try Ocean Surf. Didn't get anything, but had to get a sex wax air freshener. So on the way to Bantham, we're going down this really narrow little country path, but apparently it's a two-way road. Look at this view. We've just arrived. That was sick. Oh, so good. <laughs> Okay, to give you guys some context, we just drove for about an hour down to Bantham Beach. Um, we got stuck in a whole bunch of traffic on a one-way little road. Um, I just hired a wetsuit, and now this is gonna be my first time surfing. What an amazing day. We spent the last two and a half hours surfing non-stop. I had this board and it was my first time. This is a board that I think is a bit too small for me, but I had three or four attempts where I fully got up and stood on it. And it was one of the best experiences where you're just balancing and you're like so focused on the moment that you just, everything else is immaterial. And then I had a couple where I was paddling just about to pop up and I put too much weight on the front, on the nose, and it dug into the water and wipe out. And so there was one moment where I went under and I was just underneath the water and it just kept barreling over me. And I just closed my eyes and I just was patient and calm and I was like, this is gonna take a while. And I just floated there for a bit and eventually it just became so clear and calm and warm. And I just stood up and I was like, oh, that was beautiful. So now Liv and Medwin are taking, doing a small photo shoot. I'm sorry for sniffing. It's a bit windy and cold at the moment, but the water was so nice. Now let's go see the behind the scenes of the photos.
Now that was the definition of rough. So you'll probably see that when we were trying to put the tent up, it was billowing all over the place. This is basically just a giant parachute. I hope you can hear me because it's still so windy, but inside it at least gives you a little bit of shelter. Uh, it's a t it's a eight man tent, I believe. So you've got all the compartments and the other rooms, which is quite nice. And it's like a little fortress that you got. Here's another door behind me. That there's so much space in here, it's great. But because it's so big, it's a really big parachute. So at one point, all the bits started flying down the hill, and we had to go grab them. But the the rain went all over the lens. So I was trying to film us setting it up and then the wind knocked it over and it was just a catastrophe. I wish I could have caught that on better video because it would have been really funny. Um, but we set up, we're gonna just get all our things in here and get ready to just chill for the night. Whoo, it's a bit windy. Um, this morning we all woke up and we decided that we're gonna pack up the tent because for one, we realized that we were in the neighbor's square. So we were going to have to take up the tent anyway to move it back into our original square because when we were putting it up, it just drifted sideways. Um, but because the weather was as um, windy as it was last night, we decided to pack up and go for a drive, go do some surfing. And then when we feel like it tonight, if the weather's better and it's sunny and less windy, we can always come back because we have the, the pitch, the area for tonight as well. Um, so we can always come back, but if the weather looks like it's going to turn for the worst, we are only an hour away from Medwin and Jazz's place anyway, so we can always drive back there, have a night in peace and quiet and dry and warm. Um, but yeah, it's quite, it's quite an adventure so far, going, learning how to surf, camping, it's been really great. Medwin and Jazz have been fantastic hosts. Um, but now we've just put the GoPro mounts onto the surfboards, so they're going to be facing us while we're trying to surf. Um, and hopefully I get some good waves because I really want some good footage. <laughs> so we're going to go to a beach now, get some breakfast and just enjoy the scenery. I think it's going to be a slow day, but I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be good.
end of the last day of surfing. Um, we've packed up the boards here, ready to go on top of the car. Um, everybody's gone for a quick last minute pee before we hit the road. It's gonna be about an hour and a half drive back to Torquay, where we're gonna set up a fry on Babacan Beach. We're gonna enjoy the last night together. But that's it. This has been a fantastic long weekend holiday sort of thing. Um, I actually managed to learn how to surf, which I'm pretty pleased with. I think I went in being positive, but knowing realistically that I probably wasn't going to be able to surf. Um, and I got a couple of really good waves that were long and just fantastic. So hopefully um, we'll get a couple more later down in the season, or if not next year. Um, yeah, this has been an amazing trip.